All right, so you guys already know I'm a big fan of this certain hero, but even I, as a big fan, didn't see this coming and didn't really want the this. The path is yours to climb, but I'll help you on your way. Why she looks so weird? Oh no! Why I? That's all. Here's your bits. That's all. Here's your bits. Okay, thanks for the 50 bits, Ghost Matters. All right, we. Uh, uh look. It's very obvious I really like her. It's very, very obvious I like Azura. But even then, why is she the Legend Hero? I've just been questioning the Legend of Heroes choices for a while now, you know? It's just like, okay, you know, ever since Legend of Lucina, I've just been like questioning it more and more and more. Legend of Lucina is a great hero. That's not what I'm debating. I'm just debating like, why do we need a Legend of Heroes of heroes that already have so many different versions of themselves. Uh, geez, you can think of all the copies of Lucina. You can even count Mass Marth into there. You can count the copies of Azura. We we already have Azura emblem. We, you know, free Lolly Azura not that long ago. And then now she's a legendary hero. So, wow. It, this is the fifth Azura. Um, Erica, legendary Erica, you know, whatever. I I guess, you know, that's, that's fine. She's a popular hero from an older game. Um, I just don't understand. <laughs> Why is... Oh, also, um, real quick, I'll show you guys after this, but real quick, it's... This video has been completely panned. Completely and utterly panned. It is like, what? 60% dislikes to 40% likes, like 1.7k dislikes to 1.3k likes. People are not happy about this. And even as, like, one of Azura's biggest fans, especially for Fire Emblem Heroes, uh, it's... You guys can see that. Like, I was gonna quit this game if I wasn't gonna get PA Azura. You guys know how much I cared. Uh, and how much I care for her and you you guys saw how I even like tried swaying the vote when we were getting like vote in the free hero You guys voted for Legend like at the end of it, but I was I was pulling for PA Azura So you guys already know like how much I like her, but even then like I just I think this is the worst timing for this <laughs> um, This is one of the worst timings possible for this and okay, we'll, we'll break down the skills now, but I just wanted to talk about that real quick because Yeah, very clear Wrong timing, I guess. Anyways, Prayer Wheel is her weapon. Grant speed plus three. Uh, extra speed's always nice for obvious reasons. If sing or dance is used, so she is still a singer. Uh, it's funny because she dances as well, but you know, whatever, she, she sings. Grant's bonus to targets, attack, speed, defense, res. Uh, equals highest bonus on target ally for one turn. Wait, what? Grant's bonus to targets, attack, speed, defense, res. Equals highest bonus on target ally for one turn. Example, if target already has plus six bonus to attack, grants attack speed, defense res plus six. What is, what even is that then? So basically you're saying, oh, hey, this, this, this hero comes with attack tactic. So if she has attack, if like the other hero has attack tactic, Everything plus six. Who cares about like developing proper teams anymore? Just get these broken ass legendary heroes or these broken heroes, new heroes. I mean, like I would argue, she's uh, armored Erica. Winter Erica is very similar to this, except you know she's. Uh, I think she's plus sixteen to stats, but this is like plus twenty four. <laughs> Unless I'm reading this wrong. Am I reading this wrong, guys? It just looks. Ridiculous to me. Anyways, her sing move is called Grey Waves. Grants another action to target ally. Grey Waves is probably gonna be 300 SP, so she's gonna be a, one of those super boosted dancers. Not to mention a legendary hero, so she's worth a lot of points. And then she has blue dual flying, which is worth even more points. Because everything's gonna revolve around Arena. Even though Arena uh, really needs to get fixed, in my opinion. This, the current meta in Arena, especially, is just like armor centric, and everyone just uses armor. And that's really not going to change anytime soon, I would say. <sighs> All right. Well, um, grants another action to target ally. And if target is an infantry or flying ally, target can move one extra speed. <laughs> that turn only does not stack. Cannot target an ally of sing or dance. This skill treated as sing or dance. Great. So infantry or flying will move three spaces with this. That's like perfect for attack solos. Um, but yeah, solo skills in general. That's that's kind of ridiculous because 
not only do they move one space extra, but prayer wheel should should work. Uh, it's basically saying use this uh, use this hero in a, in a tactics team, so they're gonna be super buff. <laughs> God, God damn, that's stupid. So if you have a attack defense solo or something like that, and you have prayer wheel, you'll add like twelve attack, twelve defense, six speed, and six res. Unless I'm making a mistake here, at least. Unless I'm mis making a mistake here, that's utterly broken. And she's worth a lot of points because she has blue dual flying. Uh, aerobatics just allows her to move really quickly around just to make sure everyone has attack tactic. Just allows her to use gray waves better. So she keeps up in the battle. Oh my god. And she comes with tactic. Okay, this is... This is like... This is uh, this is utterly absurd. <laughs> this is such a great hero. I don't know, guys. What do you, what do you think? What do you think of all of this? I don't think I've seen something so busted. I thought I thought you know Winter Erica was already a busted support hero, but this is this is really busted. This is like, hey, even if you don't like this hero, you should probably pull here because this is just such. This is okay. I said I said you know, Winter Erica was the best support hero because she was at he was she was a healer. Uh, she had high BST. She had. Uh, amazing support in defense, res, and even attack. But then this is this is even better because you buff everything. You buff everything by six, very easily. And she comes up attack tactic, and then she has aerobatics to move around really easily, and blue dual flying to keep her points up. Um, and then she has gray waves, which gives them extra movement. Like this is crazy. And she's gonna be hard to like one shot because she has a speed plus three at the base. So yeah. Oh, Frenzy, welcome back. One year, dude. Guess who's back, blah? Only for tonight, though. Hey, Frenzy. Hey, how are you, dude? Um, for those who don't know, Frenzy, he moved to a rural area. He's now a farmer. Isn't it sad when a city boy becomes a farmer? Do you, do you like tend to crops nowadays, dude? Anyways, that. Uh, I'm glad you have internet for tonight. Okay, so uh. Damn, this is <laughs> this is a really really different. I never expected this, and I didn't expect this to be so good. If anything, I used all my orbs on the Winter Banner because I fully expected not to summon on the Legend Heroes Banner, uh, but now I gotta go for it. Uh, do I actually have to go for it? You know what? I'll try. I'll try. Within the next five days, whatever orbs I'll get, I'll go for it. Um, but yeah, let's finish off the rest of the banner. I think this is a bit insane. So, uh, blue dual flying. Wow. She okay. Looks okay. Uh, I just want to sit here with something. All right, Fjorm's back. That's fine. She's gonna die soon. Oh, Flying Nino, really good. Hector, amazing. Takumi, amazing. Takumi, people are forgetting. Like, one of, was one of the best um, archer heroes in the game. Ronica's great. Camilla, Marth, Flora. Wow, this is a strong set of heroes. Hell Bindi's here too for green dual infantry. Uh ear I mean sure. <laughs> I I don't think ear is like that crazy. I think about the only person who thinks ear is like amazing is like Sage Master, but like he thinks every hero is amazing. Anyways, um Jesus, this is a strong banner. Let me double check on blue. Blue is really strong too. Yeah, blue str blue is really strong. Fjorm? is probably most people's legendary hero that they have the most merges of. I'm still working on trying to make a plus 10 Fjorm. I'm not sure if Water Season is going to be stay consistent or something, but... Um, you mean Air. Yeah, sure. And then um, Summer Camilla. She has, she's really fast. She's better than um, Summer Corin. She's faster, and she comes with Home, fl home Flyers, which is a better... And she comes with a better Tome, too, because um, she basically has Desperation in her weapon. And if you get drunk, you, you, you're in desperation. Air is right? only crazy because of the cheese sort of rare combo in Ether Raids. I don't really think that makes her a great unit. I, I think it more so just makes her a valuable unit. There's a difference between being great and broken versus valuable. Uh, and I definitely va see her as valuable, but not great. No, not just yet. I'm only at my auntie's house for the night. I'm just a sad man for his own reasons. <laughs> what are you sad about, Frenzy? But thank you. Thank you for your donation. I found your auntie's house. Anyways, um, blue, I think, is the strongest color to pull for. I just think it's not even a contest. Who's a better support hero in your you guys' opinion? Winter Erica 
or Legendary Azura. Because I would argue Legendary Azura is even better. Because one, Legendary Hero, um, blue, blue Dual Flying gives her max points. Singer and like insane singer at that. I would well Winter Eric would be a lot easier to use because she just has to stay alive. You actually have to be kind of close to the battle with um Azura. Azura, Azura. Veronica, I don't think Veronica's in discussion anymore. I don't think so. If she attacks, she's a good support hero, but you're not guaranteed to attack. And as good as close guard is, I would argue just buffing everything up by six is, is kind of crazy. Keep in mind, like this Azura is meant for like would completely break the game for for um, blade tome blade tome teams tactics teams with blade tome. She's very it's very easy for her to deliver the maximum amount of damage you can deal by buffing everything to plus six. Not to mention with that extra movement and what's wait what the heck's with Takumi's face? Guys, do you see? Is his face normally like that? I I don't remember his. I'm still distracted. I don't. I don't remember his face normally be, being like that. What the heck? Anyways, I think she might be the best uh, support hero. Um, sh she's not healing, but she's giving you that extra turn. It's not just that extra turn. That extra crazy amount of damage. I'm um, Grey Waves and Bravelin and Reinhardt. Grey Waves, Bravelin and Reinhardt, and you probably want to throw in an armor hero, like with Ostia's Pulse. With, with <laughs> yeah, with, with um, Legendary Hector right here. You got something. You got something really valuable here. I was, okay, so yeah, I could see it. Anyways, anyways, I think blue's the strongest color, followed by. Wow, oh, this is actually hard to pick. I think red's really strong too. Yeah, summer young Tiki, Marth, and Flora. Flora's really good too, but uh, I don't know. Flora, Flora's interesting, really interesting, but she's really good too. So. Um, maybe reds. Green's also su super strong. Hector, Nino, and Hellbindi. Yeah, that's also really strong. Um, blue, du sorry. Green dual infantry, super valuable. Nino's one of the best flying mages in the game. Hector is Hector. Like, you get Vengeful Fighter, and you get Ostia's Pulse, and he's worth a lot of points, and he's amazing. Friendship, and of Erica, now Zero's Leviton's new best friend. Well, that was quick. <laughs> Yeah, Leviton. It's all about Leviton. Um, she would supercharge Leviton as well. It's the same idea. Blade Tomes and... Well, it's like a Blade Sword, but you get the idea. Supercharge them. Leviton just one-shots. You know, just one-shots. Uh, you guys get the idea. It's just craziness. And then... Okay, I actually can't really rank this. They're all strong. Even Colorless is strong. Colorless is Veronica, Ear, and... Takumi. Um, Summer Takumi is one of the best archers in the game. People forget that. He has a really good offensive stat spread. And again, desperation in his weapon. And he looks really stupid. He's on a chicken. And chickens are good. I had chicken today. I went to Swiss Chalet. Alright, but... Hard to rank. I think blue overall. And I just... I think the rest is just a tie. <laughs> um, I think every color is really strong for one reason or another. You might have different needs. So you might value it differently, but I, I value green dual tree immensely, so I, I can't drop green. And red is really strong as well. Not to mention Legendary, Legendary Marth is such a great option with the meta being so dragon focused. Uh, literally every color is good. Brave Veronica, hard to argue against that. Yeah, every, every color is good. <laughs> this is really interesting. I didn't expect this to be longer. It's usually around a week, five to six days, right? So the 11 days is what it looks like. I, that makes a lot of sense because the winter, the winter banner might have taken most people's orbs. <laughs> like, like for me, that it took most of my orbs. And then you're gonna have the New Year banner coming up too. So I guess this allows you to make some more choices. Um, yeah, I would say definitely pull for this banner. P pull for blue at the very least. When I pull on this banner, I'll just go all blue. Just snipe for blues. Um, another Fjorm would be excellent. Fixing my sum Summer Camilla would be excellent. Getting Azura would be monstrous. <laughs> uh, will I be dropping my free-to-play stats for this banner? Definitely not. At this point, I just don't think I can spend money on this game. It's just, lately, there's so many things I just disagree with. I just can't find it in myself. Also, 
I feel like it's silly to spend games on gacha games because one day in the future you're probably not going to be playing it anymore and gacha games don't really last that that long realistically how long do you think how long do you guys think you'll be playing gacha games for like any specific gacha game because I, I I remember like so uh, in the past two weeks especially I've seen so many of you guys quit past month actually seen so many of you guys quit like plus 10 heroes and stuff and I, I asked you guys about that sometimes and a lot of people are regretful about that because like, that's that's like hundreds of dollars probably even a thousand dollars or so on some of you guys from some of you guys and that's just like yeah that's a lot of money to leave behind just for a year of playing a gacha game i mean if you want to support the game sure i understand that but i feel like if you spend nowadays especially the direction the game's going in you're you're absolutely going to regret it so that's for that reason i can't uh, I'll use whatever orbs I can muster for this banner, but that's that's all I'll do. The smart thing to do is to wait for New Year's banner and then make up your mind. I would say don't pull or don't summon until then. With the, how banners have been lately, they've just been so incredibly good. It's hard to say skip a banner nowadays. Of course, people skip banners all the time, but I'm just saying like with, with the new skills coming out, like virtually every banner nowadays introduces a new skill, a very useful new skill. Uh, in this case, especially because you got blue dual flying, right? And then we are have red dual flying like a flyer emblem in tier 21 is becoming more and more legitimate with like each iteration coming in right so yeah like it's it's really hard to say skip for everybody and you, it's it's not even plausible in this case it's just because of how good she is so yeah i mean i would say wait and just try and, and budget your orbs as good as as well as possible and at least this way once you get get the hero that you're you're aiming for you can just move on to the next banner um otherwise people have been like just committing all their orbs on the same banner and then like scrounging whatever they can for the banners in the future coming up because they realize oh wow this hero is here or like this hero is really good or i want this new skill or and so on so on and so forth right so that's my suggestion budget your orbs wait a bit longer before summoning you're given extra time here so do it if you can do you have a pity rate on the winter banner yeah i'll finish it but the winter banner is for a month and this is for 11 days, so the Winter Banner will go past this. So I, I have more time there, so I'll, I'll wait if I can. Anyways, those are my thoughts. Um, let's get everyone in here, and then we'll talk about it a bit more.